What a huge day for Vincennes and a huge day for myself as well. A huge Cal Ripken fan. The Cal Ripken World Series is here in Vincennes, at Vincennes and the man of the hour is, is here as well. And, and Cal, first of all, before we get to the World Series, you know, I've looked up to you for, for 14, 15 years now. Did you have anybody when, I know you were close to baseball and so you are around baseball a lot, but did you have any role models as, as you grew up? Well, I grew up uh, an Oriole fan. Mm -hmm. I was from uh, the Baltimore area, and the Orioles uh, seem to be in the World Series every single year. But the mm -hmm. guy that I really liked is Brooke, was Brooks Robinson. He seemed to make all the exciting plays, got the clutch hits, and uh, always seemed to have time for everybody. He was a good. He was a good. He's a good person. Talk about being a role model, and it, you seem to thrive. And then you have a lot of people. Obviously, you've had uh, kids stand around lines, getting your autograph. What has that been like for you the past, you know, 15, 20 years? Well, I don't know if I can go back and really explain what it's been like for the whole 15 or 20 years. Uh, I started to carve out my uh, big league career as a player. Mm -hmm. uh, I tell you, and as, it, as it's winding down uh, in the form of these farewell tours, you really see the emotion pouring out. You see uh, a lot of signs that say thanks for the memories. And uh, uh, it really is a nice way to say goodbye. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I really wasn't sure whether I wanted to go through the farewell tour kind of thing because I just, uh, that kind of attention uh, I'd rather have the attention just what happens in between the white lines, but uh, uh, the way that I've had a nice relationship with the fans all these years and does give me an opportunity to say thank you. So who about this? This is the second year you've had the Cal Ripken World Series, the Babe Ruth League, renamed the Bambino League after you, and, and talk about your involvement in youth baseball. Well, it, it's, a, it's a tremendous honor, first of all, that uh, Babe Ruth did rename their lower division after me. Scary at first <laughs> for me, and then I started to think about it, and I said, what a, what a unique and great opportunity. Um, I've enjoyed uh, the spotlight in, in a sense from, from uh, Major League Baseball and being a Major League Baseball player only as it applies to the influence of youth. And uh, I've tried to watch what I do. I mean, I'm not, I'm not perfect by any means, but uh, I know that kids look up to uh, baseball players and they affect your de their development. Uh, so then when I thought about the opportunity of uh, youth baseball, I said, now this is an actual hands-on opportunity where I can go down, use my platform for baseball, use my resources from baseball, and really make a difference at that level because tomorrow's big leaguers are today's uh, grassroots players. So I'd like to uh, recruit domestically. I'd like to expand the league in, uh, a little more internationally. Uh, we're building a complex in my hometown of Aberdeen to really enhance uh, uh, youth baseball. So to me, it's an opportunity and the possibilities are endless. And obviously, by the looks on the kid's face, they're thrilled to, to see you. And obviously, you've done a lot of good things. Talk about some of the numbers. There's a lot of numbers you can talk about the streak and the 3,000 hits and 400 home runs. But one thing that I like, that my favorite stat is, is one year, I think it was 90 or 91, you played 161 games because there was one rain out, and you only made three errors at shortstop. I mean, what, were you in a defensive zone there? You talk about in basketball, someone gets in a zone, they can hit a lot of threes. But how did you sustain an entire year and only commit three errors? Well, that's kind of a funny question because uh, the uh, super shortstops of today, when you get uh, huddled at the All-Star game, that's the question they ask me. <laughs> How could you go through the whole season uh, with only three errors? And I think you're right. You do get into a defensive zone of sorts. Uh, you, your arm feels good. Your, uh, your consistency with throwing is very accurate. Uh, and you, you're reading the hops really well. Mm -hmm. But I told them the most important way uh, to minimize your errors is to always understand who hits the ball and who, and who does not because that, that depends upon how you can aggressively uh, uh, attack the ground ball. And if you know the speed of the runner, you know when to sneak up on the ball, and you know when you have to hurry. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Cal. You look good in the Vincennes hat, too, by the Thank way. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you very much. Cal Rivkin Jr. is certainly a hero to many folks, including me, and a big thrill for me today. Back to you, Brad and Shelley.